while most people go for either a dog or a cat, or several of those two, there are plenty of other interesting options out there. Sure, cats and dogs are the most common and easy to find pets, but they're not the only animals you could have running and jumping around your house. So if you're not happy with either one, take your time and pick one that you really like. The world of pets is so much more diverse than just cats and dogs. From birds and amazing amphibians to creepy crawlies and marsupials, there's a lot of cute adorable animals that you could take home. So in this video, we are going to take a look at 10 cutest exotic animals you can actually own as pets. Are you curious? Then sit back, relax, and watch the whole video. Hey everyone, welcome back to Mr. Right YouTube channel. If you are new here, welcome and consider subscribing to my channel by clicking that little bell notification below. Number 10. Axolotus Axolotus are large salamanders that come from the nearly dry lakes of Xochimilco and Chalco in Mexico City, Mexico. These exotic animals spend their entire lives in water, never coming onto land. An adult axolotl requires a 20-gallon aquarium due to the large amount of waste they produce. Like most amphibians, axolotls require minimal lighting and prefer the dark. Axolotls tend to eat large earthworms and bloodworm cubes. You shouldn't handle these guys. They don't like it and they could be injured. Although, if they do lose a leg, it'll grow back again. So that's kind of like an insurance policy you didn't have to pay for. They grow to about 25 centimeters in length and can live for 10 years. They're happy in a good aquarium, but don't put your fish in there if you don't want them eaten. Or do put some fish in there if you do want them eaten. Your axolotl will be pleased. Also, don't put them together when they're young as they have an unfortunate tendency to go cannibal. This should not be an issue with mature ones as long as they have other stuff to eat. Number 9. Dwarf Pigs Dwarf pigs are simply adorable. Take them as pets or use them as blankets. They're lovely and fun to have around. Also known as teacup pigs, they are a very good option especially for those who suffer from allergies. Dwarf pigs are hypoallergenic, so they'll be the perfect friends for allergic people. They are super social, but this can be both a good thing or a bad one. If you're away from home for long periods of time, maybe you should think getting a pair. They love company. Number 8. Sugar Glider If you've ever wondered what it's like to own a squirrel, then you should purchase a sugar glider. These tiny animals may look like your typical flying squirrel, but they're actually a part of the marsupial family. Like kangaroos, females raise their young in pouches until maturity. The residents of New Guinea and Australia love to play dates with other animals and their caregivers. Their diets are a rare homemade mix of minerals including nectar powder, tea, a hard-boiled egg, and honey. Sugar gliders are small nocturnal animals with big eyes, under the right circumstances, which can make really endearing pets. They especially love the company of other sugar gliders, so owners prefer to adopt them in pairs placing them together in a wide cage that's at least 36 inches in height. When tamed and in a good mood, sugar gliders enjoy smuggling with their owners in pouches that can be worn around the neck. Sugar gliders are also extremely vocal, making different noises to alert their owners when they're hungry, frustrated, nervous, or afraid. The sharp teeth, though not aggressive, cause them to give nasty bites when provoked. Swimmers are likewise the sugar gliders. A specific diet known as BML is important for sugar gliders, along with fruit and vegetables, including honey, calcium, and ingredients in baby foods. Number 7. Capybara Native to the waters of the South and Central America, capybaras are the largest rodent ever recorded in history. They can be as tall as a golden retriever and weigh up to 140 pounds. Capybaras may be affectionate and loving creatures, but that doesn't mean they're easy to look after. Skin care for a capybara is essential, as they have extremely dry skin and need to spend most of their time in the water. They are also very social animals and should be housed in pairs. As we mentioned with a weight of up to 140 pounds, the capybara is one of the biggest rodents in the world, and one of the cutest animals we've ever seen. Their natural environment includes water, so make sure you provide them with places where they can swim around freely. The downside is that they are challenging to rise. 
They are very social animals, so they prefer living in groups. So it's advisable to get a pair at least, rather than a single one. Also, in some states in the US, you need a special license to own one. So make sure you check with local registration before getting one. Number 6. Kinkajou No, it's not a monkey or a weasel, it's a raccoon. The kinkajou might look like a lovely little monkey, but it's actually more closely related to the raccoons and the kotimundi as we mentioned. They use their tail for climbing around and can be very social and well behaved if raised properly from a young age. Also known as honey bears, they have a lifespan of up to 25 years and love to explore the surroundings and new family members or guests. They're also more active during the night, so make for perfect little friends for night owls. See any pets you would own yet? If so, click the like button. Share with someone you know like pet. Number 5. Bengal Cat For those who would like to have a leopard as a pet, the Bengal Cat is their best option. It's like a leopard in miniature, due to their extremely famous fur. Their fur come in plenty of patterns and colors, so you can find them in brown, silver, snow, or even blue. The Bengal cats are active animals, so you'll get to play and get tired a lot. That on a daily basis. They are very sociable creatures, so they tend to get along with other furry members in the family. So no need to worry if you've got more friends like that. Number 4. Burmese Python Again, getting on the extreme side of pets, the Burmese Python is not for everyone. Surely not for the faint of heart. Frightening as it looks, the Burmese Python is actually among the most docile snakes around. They usually are in a good disposition and they only need simple care, so it's an easy choice to make. That if you love reptiles. One thing you need to consider though is their potential size. They can grow quite large, sometimes in excess of 20 feet and weigh even over 250 pounds. Think twice if you've got the heart and the space for such an exotic pet. Number 3. Servals Cat lovers will surely love this wild beauty. Servals are African mid-sized cats that are accustomed to warm climates and open wide spaces. Pet owners should build a moderate amount of space for their exotic cat to feel at home. Servals require lots of daily exercise and love to play. Some exotic pets are riffs on established categories. Take cats. If the standard domestic variety is too tame for you, how about a serval? This lean, long-legged African cat, which looks rather like a small leopard, stands 52 to 64 centimeters at the shoulder and weighs 9 to 18 kilograms. Although they can be affectionate with you, they're probably not your best choice if you don't have a good supply of plasters on hand for the scratches. They play rough. Nor are they suitable as indoors only cats. They need space. If you can offer them the right environment, though, these beautiful cats are really cool. Number 2. Wallaby The wallaby looks much like a kangaroo, so that's how they got their nickname as mini kangaroos. Very common in Australia, they can be seen in other parts of the world as exotic pets. A wallaby needs a lot of outdoor space, so you need to make sure you've got it before getting one. Due to that, in some cities, they're considered illegal to own, so check that out as well. They can grow up to 40 inches in height and weigh somewhere around 50 pounds. So they're smaller than a kangaroo but will jump around just as happily and reach impressive speeds as well. Make sure your fencers are up to the task of keeping them inside. Number 1. The Fennec Fox If you like cats but you also like dogs, the little fennec fox might be the right choice for you. They're independent like cats and playful like dogs. Plus, they have these super cute ears that go on and on. They are higher maintenance than either cats or dogs though. They have a lot of energy and thus need a lot of attention and exercise. Fennec foxes are known as the smallest foxes in the entire world and borrow behavior traits from both cats and dogs. Due to this reason, they're considered a great exotic pet. As adults, they reach up to 4 pounds in weight, which is not much, so they're okay for smaller households. They live up to 15 years and are caring animals. They like to play a lot, traits similar to dogs, but also have the independence of a cat. Usually legal to own in most states, there are few, like Missouri, Minnesota, and Washington, where they're illegal. 
Fennec foxes are very sociable animals if trained from a young age, so they can make for perfect furry friends. Just make sure you keep up the pace with their seemingly infinite energy. It has beautiful large ears, a small face and body, and the softest fur. They make the perfect purse dog. These foxes can be taught to play fetch and taken on walks, just like your average domesticated dog. They do eat dog food but may require an occasional side dish of